Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a really exciting book review. Today we're going to be talking about The Exorcist by William Peter Blady. If you haven't heard of the book I'm sure that you heard of the movie which is a really popular horror movie from the 1970s, one of like the first of its kind. So original, something that like the horror movie industry hasn't seen before. Basically in this book we follow Chris McNeil who is the mother to Reagan. She is a divorced actress so we kind of follow um, her and then also as Reagan starts to decline she starts to have difficulties uh, with her daughter particularly after her like 11th birthday. Reagan goes through a lot of changes as the book progresses and we kind of see her downfall and what happens to her, how her mother deals with it, how the housekeepers deal with it, how her friends slash the tutor deals with it and how everyone's coping with what's going on that they don't understand. It starts off with like some items being moved around the house that you know weren't there before. Uh, starts off with Reagan playing with a Ouija board. It starts off with the bed shaking and it gradually progresses from there till the end. So in this we have her family trying to help, the housekeepers, the tutor, and then we also have a priest slash psychiatrist trying to help and we have the exorcist that comes in later. This book really shocked me how much I loved it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it or if I was in the mood to read it just now but I picked up picked it up, read the first page, and then just just kept reading and just kept reading till I finished it. It was phenomenal. I finished it I think in a day which is good for me. I, I don't usually complete books that fast anymore. <laughs> it was definitely creepy like it says on it the most terrifying book ever written. I get it. The descriptions were there. I definitely think uh, just the descriptions of Reagan's condition were really interesting and I was surprised to see how well it was done for a book in the 1970s. But I thought the horror, the gore descriptions were pretty good and then I also just thought the writing was super haunting and interesting and that's why I just kept reading and kept enjoying it. For the characters I really admired the mother Chris. She tried to do everything for Reagan, she tried to do everything for her daughter including like going beyond her own beliefs, uh, staying in that realm of her beliefs and then also going outside of it which she got doctors involved, psychiatrists involved, priests involved. So, so many people were giving their opinions on Reagan's condition. She gets diagnosed with so many things. There's so many speculations throughout the book of what she has and what's going on. The themes in this book talked a lot about religion as one, uh, good versus evil, themes of de the devil, possession, the occult, the paranormal, and mental health discussions as well. So it had a lot of different themes and discussions throughout it which I really all enjoyed and thought hearing everyone's different perspective kind of on Reagan from their point of view was just really interesting. Overall I was pleasantly surprised by this. I have seen the movie before and I love the movie. The movie is fantastic. So even reading this it's so accurate to the movie which makes sense because apparently he was also the screenwriter for the movie so it makes sense. I definitely think though this whole franchise is iconic and I know they've done remakes for The Exorcist and that kind of thing but the original I need to rewatch it soon. I need to rewatch it soon. I really want to especially after this. Also if you don't know there's a second book which I've never heard of a second exorcist movie or a second book but there is. It's called Legion. I have it coming in the mail today so I really want to start that and read that and see kind of what happens from there. I think it follows one of the priests and like another exorcist type thing that he has to go through. Uh, so I'm really interested to see like what characters will return and what's kind of the difference between that book and this book. Obviously this book has been read a lot more, it has a lot better ratings, but I'm just, I'm, I liked it enough that I'm so intrigued to read the second one. For all this is a new favorite of mine. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the horror elements were fantastic. The characters, the writing, the plot, everything was really good about it. If you like spooky stuff, highly recommend reading this if you haven't. And I also recommend the movie. I think it's a great movie. So yeah, I'm also gonna be doing more, I wanna do more research into this author, his other works. I heard on the movie set like a lot of tragic things happened not long after the film so I kind of want to read more about that part of it because um, I believe a lot of bad things happened after the movie set but like our author lives till he's like 90 which is pretty good. I thought maybe if anything were to ha bad happen to someone would be the person who wrote it but fair enough that doesn't matter. I also really like these little it doesn't matter like it's not important but these little page headers they have for it. These little guys that they had for every chapter I thought that was really nice. And I also tabbed the book and all like my favorite parts. So there you guys have it that was my little review on The Exorcist by William Peter Blady. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts on the book down below. I'd love to hear if you've read it, if you've seen the movie, any of your thoughts on it. I'd love to know. 
Also, if you know any books that are similar to this or have recommendations based on this book, I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as usual, and like and subscribe if you'd like to. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon with a new one.